Hey guys, this is Negrenade with my first LP. I'm going to do a unique little game right here. It's Plants vs. Zombies. Right here's the title. And let's get started. See, the goal is, well, not a goal, but the thing is, you are the plants and they are the zombies. We got our account all set up. It's a brand new game. Options are all fine. Let's start a new adventure. Woo! It's actually a very creepy intro compared to the rest of the game. It's actually really funny. It's made by the same people who made Peggle. It has okay music, but most of the, it's kind of like ambient music. So there's not much you're missing if you're not hearing a lot of sound. Because, you know, my voice is, you know, it's a lot better than that plain old music. Who needs music when you got my velvet chords? Yeah. But yeah, the pretty much the thing is, sun is your source, and as you can see, a pea shooter takes up 100 sun, and plus it recharges, which means if you ha if I had 100 sun right now, I still wouldn't be able to plant it until it, f it filled up the meter. And yeah, this is pretty much what you do, but later on, later on, your uh, lawn fills up with grass. Well, I mean, it'll do that the next level, and there will be zombies coming in all five of these rows. You see, this is just... There's no way you can lose this level. This is just training. And so, yeah, it, final wave, there's always a final wave. And as you can see, the zombies come fully prepared with arms. See, it, it indicates whenever they're half-life, whenever they're halfway down in their life, whenever their arm pops off, and then their head comes off. That means they're dead. 50. Sun for a sunflower. Sunflowers are the backbone of your garden. They will give you sun, additional sun, and you cannot win a game without them. Unless, you know, later on whenever we don't really need them. Well, that'll only come in whenever... Well, actually, I don't think that ever comes in, ever. <laughs> because we always need sun, right? But, uh, unless it's nighttime, which will come in later, which I hope is not a spoiler, yeah, sun will not drop down from the heavens whenever it is nighttime. You'll have to get it from sunflowers or another sun plant, which is going to come up later in the night level. So yeah, usually what you want to do is get sunflowers all in your back row. And whenever it's easy levels like this, I would recommend making two rows of sunflowers. And you can let them come up halfway. One repeater can take care of an original zombie you know, a few spaces away. So just kind of put one right there. It, it's dead, definitely. So, yeah, I mean, whenever you get two full rows of sunflowers, it's actually kind of crazy trying to keep up with how much sun they produce. It's it's ridiculous sometimes. And it's just like, it's like they're having babies. Pop, 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 pop. Well, I mean, it's... Well, usually having babies is not that fast, but... <laughs> uh, I'm just trying to make an example. They're just popping it out like, like no other thing you've ever seen before. So he's almost dead. One shot should get it. Okay, one more shot. There we go. So I don't need any more sunflowers. I'll just build up the rest of my lawn with repeaters. And pea shooters. My bad. And you see that all all plants have a little pun to their name. little wordplay. Like pea shooters. They shoot peas. And they have a... Well, that's not really much of a pun. Because sunflower, which is... Well, they produce sun. But later on, you'll see what I mean. And you really have a lot of plants and zombies that you can discover. It's really cool. And it gets really stressful later on. This is just, you know, a nice little practice round. Huge wave of zombies! Eh, it's not that bad. Oh yeah, and that's what I always loved. You get to see the little flag zombie. Charge! Too bad he's always the first one to go. I like him. I like his enthusiasm. I love their expressionless face. They're just like, I. Uh, they don't even know what's going on. And this, as you can probably, you can probably guess what that's gonna be. The cherry bomb. See, that's what I mean by wordplay. You know, cherry bomb blows up all the zombies in the area. 
So yeah, I'm just making that little demonstration. Probably gonna do one more round right here, and then I'm gonna call it a video. <laughs> there's um, I think there's at least about twelve to each stage, twelve levels, and you can get a maximum I think up to ten slots. I've only gotten eight because. I don't need nine slots. And, uh... I actually beat the game before. Died a few good times. <laughs> but I know what each thing does, so I'm pretty pretty confident in my abilities. Of a gamer. So yeah, this meter tells you how long the level's gone in. I'm already one-eighth of the way there. I'm so excited. I'll demonstrate the cherry bomb in just a second. It what it does is you plant it immediately and it immediately takes effect. It about it takes one second to explode. It, it you set it next to a zombie, and it explodes in about this kind of radius, around this much. So if there were zombies all around here in these squares, if I plant it right there, it would kill all of them. I think, like right here. Boom! It just turns them to dust. Instant kill. It's very nifty. The thing is, you gotta stay calm and collected in this game because, really, whenever stress kicks in, you don't click on the right things and, shoo, it gets gets pretty bad. Oh yeah, here we go. Here's a cone zombie. If uh, zombies have something on their head, then uh, they have extra protection. They can uh, they can go longer. See how uh, the cone's getting damaged instead of his arm popping off? That's because he's hardcore. He'll do anything to get my brains. And you see back here, there are lawn mowers. Lawn mowers um, are that extra defense. If it breaks, if a zombie breaks through a whole entire line of yours, a whole entire plant line, a lawn mower will last. Uh, will give you one last call of defense for that line. It'll it'll in uh, in if it has grass, it'll mow about right to here. It ends about right here, killing all the zombies in the lane almost, except at the beginning. Leaving, giving you a bunch of time to build it back up again. But except if you're in a in um, a later level, then eh, it only kills zombies about right here. But that's not because it's just trying to make it harder. It's because of the environment. I placed that wrong, and that's kind of a bummer because if you place a plant wrong. There's no possible way you can just take it and move it back. Later on, you get a shovel to where you can dig up your plants. Like, I'll demonstrate this. Boom. Killed those two. Oh. Well, that was game over. So, here's a walnut. It takes up 50 sun, and I'm probably going to end right here. See the walnut? Get it? Because it's a defensive wall. It blocks off zombies and protects your other plants, which really, really comes in handy. This is the other backbone to your defense instead of offense. And so anyway, I'll see you guys next time. I'll meet you at my front yard, where it's going down with five lines. See you guys later.